Ormbury is a 32 cover restaurant in Presswich, just outside of Manchester. And we serve um, British food, um, mainly with a historical and sort of traditional slant. I started off at Sharrow Bay up in the Lake District um, and from there um, went to the Fat Duck and worked for Heston for four years. Working at the Fat Duck with Heston was an absolutely incredible experience. Um, I think it definitely um, was the most formative experience of my career. You know, I learned a lot about cooking but also about um, an approach to running a business and an approach to um, being a manager and employing people. When we opened Dornbury um, four and a half years ago, my personal goals and aspirations were to um, provide good food and good times. You know, we wanted people to come in, be completely relaxed, um, be really well looked after, um, and to have really interesting food and wine. Um, and that's, that's always been the goal, just to provide something that's interesting, slightly different, um, but also that has um, sort of very clear roots in local food, local tradition, um, local food history, all those things. For me, local food is, it's about um, looking back at what people would have eaten in times gone by and trying to bring that kind of up into the, the present day. So for example, we serve a snack which is um, black peas and vinegar, essentially. Black peas are a very big part of local food tradition. They're normally served in a polystyrene cup at fairgrounds and at fates and things with a load of malt vinegar put on the top. Um, and um, I wouldn't say it's a delicacy as such in that format, but we take that and we, we, we do something slightly different with it. Make a black pea puree, make, um, a vinegar jelly with gel and gum, batter and deep fry the jelly. Um, so it becomes something um, more interesting, but also people that are from around here will see that and eat that and immediately feel that connection back to sort of the, the tradition of, of the black peas and vinegar at the fairground. I think the reason we don't see so many female chefs um, in senior positions in the industry um, it's partly a cultural thing. I think culturally cooking and being a chef is, has always been a very male profession. I mean, I really think that's changing actually. It's changing a lot. And I think over the next 10 years, there'll be a big shift and there'll be a lot more female head chefs and uh, executive chefs and in more senior positions because the industry's changing, society's changing. Um, I think historically, it's been really difficult for women to stay in the kitchen um, after having children. Um, because of the hours and the demands of the job and it's, it's, just, it's just completely incompatible with having uh, young children. I mean, I, I've done it, I've, I've stuck it out, I have two young children, um, but it's, it's, it's definitely not uh, family friendly in that way. You know, if you, if you need to be working um, double shifts, you need to be at the restaurant in the evening, it's, it's difficult. So I think that's, that's definitely had an impact too, but I really, I think, I think over the next five, ten years, it's, it's just there's going to be a massive shift, and we'll see um, the um, you know I, I see a lot more younger female chefs coming through now than, than ever before. So I think it's all going to change.